Can my fantasy team win the World Series in MLB The Show 22? We aim to find out. All right, so I have put the squad together already. I went through and made all the changes, all the necessary changes and everything. I'm going to show you my lineup, and then I'm going to show you my pitcher rotation. Here's the lineup. We got Tim Anderson playing shortstop. Julio Rodriguez playing uh, center field. Austin Riley batting third, playing third. Vinny Pasquantino hitting fourth, playing first base. Alejandro Kirk catching, batting fifth. Starling Marte playing right field, batting sixth. Alex Verdugo hitting seven, playing left field. Luis Arias hitting eighth, playing uh, second base. And then Ahmad Rosario is hitting nine, playing DH. I got uh, Anthony Volpe, uh, Estruri Ruiz, and uh, Zekul Tovar in, in, in my bench. Oh, Josh Young, too. Josh Young, too. Those are those are my bench guys for my fantasy. I left some, like, Badoo's not on my team. Oh, I got Nupar, too. Sorry. <laughs> so the, the bench players are Nupar, Jung, Tovar, Ruiz, Volpe, I don't, I, uh, so, some of these guys I just left for like depth purposes. I'll probably, I should, you know what? I'm going to move, I'm going to move Banez, Badu, and, and and anybody else that isn't really on my fantasy team. I'm going to move them down to AAA so that way they don't interfere with, you know, with, with being in the lineup or nothing like that. Let me, let me do that right now. Hold on one second here. All right, so that's the lineup. Here's the pitching rotation. The pitching ro the pitching's where where I feel like is, is definitely my strength in 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 the fan in my fantasy league. I'm I'm explaining to y'all in a minute here how how we do our, our our thing here. So I got Degrom is is my number one. He's my ace. Alcantara, uh, Sandy Alcantara is my number two. It's Corbin Burns my number three. Uh, any of those three could be a number one on on any team. So. These guys all 95 right there within each other. Alec Manoa is my number four. And then Christian Javier is my number five. I got George Kirby and Tyler Glass now as long relief. Hunter Brown is middle relief. Probably could be another long relief. Whatever, whatever. These three here, Foley, Lang, and Vest are not on my team. But again, just for, you know, in, in inning purposes and pitching purposes, I left them on it. They're not great anyway. They're not going to whatever, whatever. I got Renato. Uh, I don't actually. You know what? I don't have Lopez anymore. I just moved Lopez for for uh, for Chapman. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do that too. I got uh, Duran as my closer, and then I'm gonna go pick up Chapman and and replace Lopez with Chapman for my setup guy. And that's gonna be the squad, guys. That's pretty much that's how it's set up. That's how, that's how it is. That's how it's set up. All right. So there you go. Chapman is my setup man. Duran's my closer. The 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 the, 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 the pullpen's okay. The starting rotation is absolute fire. All right, so I'm gonna give myself three seasons to get this done. The way we do our fantasy baseball is we're, we're kind we're kind of in a modified keeper league. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and, and and just start stimulating. I'm gonna sim, I'm gonna sim to draft day. So we do a so we do three years. We keep we do keepers. We do six keepers for three seasons and then after three seasons we blow the whole damn thing up and we start all over we've been doing it for i don't know i think i think they've been doing it for about 16 seasons now and i've been doing it for eight or nine of those seasons so it's a it's a fun way to keep it you know we keep we keep it loose we keep it we keep it it's a good way to keep it competitive if you if you're not feeling your team you don't like your dudes you got you know you don't you all you know all you have to do is wait a couple seasons you know you're going to restart the whole thing so I personally, this go around focused heavy, 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 heavy on pitching. I sold my soul to get some pitching. I, I Corbin is a, a shoulder tear and he's out two to three months. Two to three fucking months. Are you kidding me? Oh, that hurts. Okay, I'll fix the rotation. God fucking damn it. So right now we're seven and three. Oh, that, that hurts my soul. We're going to move... Glass now into the starting rotation. Move everybody else up. Glass now comes our number five, and then Hunter Brown moves into the long, long reliever rotation. Ugh. Oof! Two months. Two months. Okay, we can't afford that shit to happen. So yeah, like I said, we we do we do three years. We do heavy. Uh, uh, we do three years, and then we blow the whole thing up. So I went heavy on pitching this year. That's why my pitching looks looks like it does. 
generally speaking, you're not going to get all those all those kinds of guys. You know, you're not going to get Degrom and Alcantara and, and Burns and and all them all them dudes in in the same you know in the same in the same uh, team. But with it, with it being a modified keeper draft, that's that's kind of how we did. I kept I kept what I do this year. I kept four pitchers. I kept Alcantara, Burns, DeGrom, Manoa, and then I kept uh, Riley and Julio as far as my hitters go. So that's kind of where I was. That's why I'm sitting so heavy on. I've, I've been heavily invested on the pitching, and, that, and that's kind of where I'm sticking with this year. We'll, we'll see what happens next year. Dang, dang. We got rich. The rich got richer. We went. I went through the draft, and I was just, I was just screwing around because I don't really plan on keeping these guys and I'm not I'm not doing like a, a, a franchise mode I'm doing franchise mode but I'm not trying to like rebuild a team or anything so I was just screwing around with it we got some studs here man we got a 94 potential an 86 potential and an 87 potential all starting pitchers all young as shit all projected to come up within the next two years that's pretty cool that's pretty good we we rolled the dice on a couple of positions well we got like one position player dude here he ain't worth the shit. And then this guy here and this guy here ain't worth the shit either. But we'll sign them all, keep them happy, throw them down in AAA, AA, wherever. Throw them in the minors. I'm not really concerned with, with the draft picks and I'm not going to sign any free agents that's going to muck up the waters on what I'm trying to do. You know, I'm, I'm trying to keep this fantasy team, seeing how well I'll do with that. So, oh my God. <laughs> Jacob DeGrom suffered an injury, torn finger ligament. During today's game, it appears he'll be out for two to three fucking months. Son of a bitch. Uh, okay. God freaking damn it, man. I <laughs> Listen, y'all are pissing me off. All right, they're all going to move up. Uh, Kirby, Kirby, your next man up, my guy. Kirby's in, in, in the... We might need a sign. I need to sign a long reliever just to, just to have enough guys. My bullpen is is being decimated. Son of a bitch, man, that hurts. That hurts, bro. That's not good. We got oof decimated. Two aces, two aces out for months. Son of a bitch, man. Oh, oh. Tim Anderson broke his ankle. He's gonna be out for a month to two. Son of a bitch, what is going on? Okay, Volpe, it's probably you, kid. It's definitely you. Okay, Volpe's going, going, Volpe's seeing the big show, people. That's why we got depth. Not Volpe, it's Rosario. We're going to put Rosario in. We're going to let Volpe... Do nothing. We're gonna let Volpe do jack shit. Volpe's gonna go back on the bench. We're gonna leave Nupar as our DH. Uh, that sucks. God, that sucks. Yep, yep, that's what we're gonna do. So Rosario's gonna move into shortstop. Nupar's gonna say DH. That's poopy. We've gotten smoked by the injury, injury bug. Okay, uh, Corbin's gonna be back in two weeks. One to two weeks, he's gonna need a little rehab assignment to get to get better, to get to get you know up to speed. Uh, I don't want to do that. I don't give a shit. Okay, where are we? All star break. All star break. We are fifty two and forty five, just sitting at about five hundred ball, seven games back. All right, let's keep going. Okay, Burns is Burns is back. He's no longer injured. Let's auto. Yeah, let, let's get Burns back in the in the, in the lineup. That's that's a big help. Let's go. Let's get Burnsy back into my my starting rotation. Burns is gonna go back to one. Sandy's gonna go two. We're gonna move everybody back down. Last now for Manoa. Yep, yeah, that's it. That's it. That's it. <sighs> oh my God! Glass now suffered a shoulder separation. He's gonna be out two to three freaking months. Our pitchers are absolutely decimated right now. What in the shit is going on? That is unfreaking believable, y'all. Holy shit. All right, Kirby, you're back, dude. Kirby back in the rotation. 
I feel I feel like Corey, I feel like Jacob can't be that far off. Let's just check the roster, see where he is. Oh. Uh, gotta be close, right? Yeah, he's about a week away. So he's one to one to six days away. He's a week away. That's great. We're gonna we're gonna we're not okay. We're not gonna make any any moves. We're just gonna we're just gonna put glass now on the DL or glass now on the IL. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> we're gonna put glass now on the IL and then move Kirby up into the starting rotation again. And, and Jacob's gonna come back in about a week, and then everything will be right as rain. There we go. Jacob's coming back. He's coming back. That's great. Fantastic. We're gonna move Jacob back into the starting rotation. Put Kirby back into the long, long rotation in the bullpen. Not that he belongs there. He's probably been pitching fairly well, but okay. We're gonna go. We're gonna move Kirby back into the bullpen. He's gonna be in long rotation, and Javier is gonna be our number five starter, even though he's kind of cold right now. I don't care. That's how. That's how it is. That's how we're going. That's how we're rolling, baby. Ah, oh, Tim. Tim Anderson is no longer hurt. He's coming off the injured list. Let's go. Okay. Let's put him back in the lineup. Get uh, Newt Bar back onto the bench, and then get Rosario back into the GH spot. Please. Hey. Nope. How's Newt Bar hit? Newt Bar's got good power against lefties. Good power against righties, but garbage contact against righties. And Rosario's got good contact against righties. Terrible power, but good speed too. Okay, so he's gonna DH against righties. And then Newbar's gonna DH against lefties. Yep, 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 yep. That's how we're going. That's how we're doing. That's how we're going. It it has dawned on me that I didn't really explain to y'all what what my, my my thinking was as far as the team I set up. So we play we play eight by eight. We play eight offensive categories, eight defensive categories, eight pitching categories. It's the first day of September, the final full month. So the eight eight pitching or the eight hitting categories we have. Hold on, I don't know. I know them off my head, but not completely. Give me one second. I'm gonna I'm gonna read them off to you off off of the Yahoo Sports of the Yahoo. So we go by runs, hits, home runs, RBI, stolen bases, strikeouts, average, and OPS. That is the hitting categories we play by. And then on pitching, we go wins, losses, saves, strikeouts, ERA, whip, quality starts, blown saves. So the way that I've been playing, the way I'm playing this season at least, is I'm going, if you notice, a lot of my guys are, are top of the order guys. I got a lot of table setters. So I'm going to try, I'm trying, trying to win hits, runs, stolen bases, strikeouts, and average on offense. If I can win those, what's that, five categories? If I can win those five categories on offense, I'll be pretty happy. OPS, home runs, RBIs, I'm not too, too concerned with. I don't really have that many, that many, you know, superpower dudes. And then on pitching, I, I've sold out on pitching, so I'm trying to win the whole goddamn thing, y'all. I'm running the gamut. I'm trying to run the whole thing on pitching. That is my thought process. So, like I said, we do eight and eight. So there's 16 total points. I figure if I can win seven, six or seven of the pitching categories and four or five of the hitting categories almost every week, I'm looking pretty good. So that's kind of where my thought process was. That's kind of how I drafted. That's why you got you see guys like Anderson and, and Rosario and um, Julio, Arise, Verdugo, they all kind of fit that, that you know, that top of the order. Lots of hits. They don't strike out a ton. They got a good good average, good speed. That's that's where I'm thinking. That's where my, my thought process is. That's where my head's at, you know. All right, we finished 86 and 76 the first season. That wasn't good enough to make the play or make the postseason. That's not good. That's not great. Uh, okay, let's check out the stats. Let's check out the stats for the season. So uh, my guy Pasquantino finished with a 282 average and 838 OPS. He had 29 home runs, 85 RBIs, nine stolen bases. Pretty good. Pretty damn good. Not too bad if I do say so myself. He's, he's a young dude. He's only what? 24. So yeah, he's still he's still an up and comer. Uh, Luis Arise finished with a 295 average, 832 OPS, 16 stolen bases, 72 RBIs, 15 home runs, 
148 hits, 59 runs. Pasquantino had 80 runs, 171 hits. What are we sorting by? We're sorting by hits? It's like, yeah. Okay. So, uh, Ahmad Rosario hit a 240, 254 clip, 23 stolen bases, 14 home runs, 66 RBIs. He had a 690 OPS, 147 hits, and 78 runs. Kirk finished with a 290 average, a 22 home runs, 75 RBIs, 3 stolen bases, 886 OPS, 138 runs, 7, uh, 71, uh, 100, 138 hits, excuse me, 71 runs. Julio, Julio did not play very good for, for, for a stud, for, for one of my keepers, for what should have been one of my best players, him and Riley. Oh man, shit the bed with these two, good lord. All right, so Julio hit a 237 for the season. He had a plenty of bat bats too, 536 at bats. I mean, that's pretty goddamn good. He stayed healthy. 26 home runs, 88 RBIs, uh, 755 OPS. Struck out 149 times. Pasquantino, 150, 58 strikeouts for a rise. That's why he's on my team in fantasy because he doesn't strike out, which is fucking fantastic. Rosario, 130 is not terrible. Kirk, only 90. 183 strikeouts for Austin Riley. Ugh. Yuck. Yucky. Poopy. Um, uh, Julio only had 127 uh, hits. I keep wanting to say runs. 127 hits, 69 runs. Not great. Not awesome. Uh, Austin Riley hit 229. Six stolen bases, 66 RBIs, 26 home runs, 126 hits, 68 runs. Hit a 718 OPS. 183 strikeouts. Gross. Gross. Uh, Marte hit 249, 18 stolen bases, 52 RBIs, 16 home runs, 120 hits, 54 runs. Him, him, uh, Verdugo, Anderson, all 400, 400 plus. You know, they missed some time. Maybe, maybe they were splitting some time. <sighs> okay, let's see. Um, he had, uh, Marte had a 706 OPS, struck out 97 times. Verdugo struck out 97 times, 647 OPS, 238 average, four stolen bases, 38 RBIs, five home runs, 114 hits, and 50 runs scored. Tim Anderson, again, he got, he missed a lot of time. He had uh, 62 runs, 106 hits, eight, R eight, eight home runs, 52 RBIs, 13 stolen bases, 262 average, 736 OPS and he struck out 60 times. Newbar struck out 100. He he's about the only other 300 300 at bats. He hit 270, five stolen bases, 12 home runs, 47 RBIs. Uh, not great, not great, not great at all. Not not awesome. Okay, so then let's go let's go by pitchers. We got innings pitched by the pitchers. Sandy got me a 13 win, 10 loss season. He pitched uh, 4.19 ERA, 1.22 whip, 188 strikeouts to 54 walks. And not, not, not bad. Not bad. The ERA is not Sandy like. That's not great. All right. Manoa pitched 208 innings. He had a 13 win, 11 loss record, 58 walks 198 strikeouts 2.81 era that's what i'm talking about that's much better 1.15 whip does this tell me quality starts yep okay so manoa had 26 quality starts sandy had 18. let's see javier was the next one up with innings pitched he had 187 innings pitched he went nine and nine 212 strikeouts 4.03 era 85 walks, 1.35 whip, uh, 15 quality starts. Not great. Not you know what for a for a team built on pitching, not not my happiest time of of the of the season. You know what I'm saying? So Degrom Degrom missed a lot a lot of innings, a lot lot a lot of games. He he only had 150 55 innings pitched. He went 10 and seven, uh, 211 strikeouts. 34 walks, 2.62 ERA, 0.99 whip, uh, 16 quality starts. When he pitched, he pitched really well. He just didn't pitch enough. He didn't pitch enough. He was hurt, man. 
All right, Glass now went on the IL. He he had a really good season going too. 13 wins, three losses, only 150, uh, 140 innings, excuse me, 163 strikeouts, 50 walks, 2.63 ERA, 1.14 whip, and he had 14 quality starts. Let's see, Burns. Burns didn't pitch a lot of innings either. He pitched yeah, six and six and ten win loss. That's not great. One point. Uh, he had 132 innings pitched, 35 walks to 151 strikeouts. That's not Corbin Burns like. He did not pitch well. 3.06 ERA, 1.16 WHIP. Uh, 13 quality starts. Okay, okay. You know, not great, not great, not great. My guy George Kirby. He had he had a couple of spot starts. He he pitched. He pitched actually fairly well for what he was. He was long relief, uh, six six guy, six six starter. He he filled in quite a bit when when guys were getting hurt. He went 11 and six, 128 innings pitched, 25 balls to 112 strikeouts. Sorry, that's right there in my face. I just didn't didn't know what I was saying. 3.3 WHIP or ERA, 1.12 WHIP. He had two quality starts. Yeah, not bad. Good winning percentage. Decent strikeouts, not a lot of walks. He pitched. He pitched all right. Uh, Brown pitched like garbage. Duran pitched pretty well, actually. Thirty-eight saves. Uh, actually, that he pitched. You know what? He pitched fucking stellar. He pitched stellar. Let's call it what it is. Thirty-eight saves, fifty-one strikeouts, the thirteen walks. I wish he would have had some more strikeouts, but it's okay. A bunch of saves. Shit. A great ERA. Uh, well, Two point four one ERA. Point nine nine WHIP. Pitched, he pitched really, really well. Uh, let's look at these. These other dudes pitched like shit. They weren't. Chapman. Chapman shit the bed. Ugh. Chapman pitched like dog shit. Chapman pitched 30. He only pitched 30 innings, but look at this. Ugh. 40 strikeouts to 19 walks. 7.64 ERA. 2.33 whip. That's no control. Giving up the long ball. That's gross. That's awful. That's terrible. I hate it. I don't like it. <sighs> gotta fucking live with it. Gotta live with it. All right, let's look at the awards for the season. Uh, Mod Rosario and Alex Verdugo got gold gloves for shortstop and left field. Pasquantino won rookie of the year. All right, Judge won um, MVP. Uh, Machado won National League MVP. Cy Young went to Otani. And Tony Goslin, Corbin Burns was second. No, that was last year. I'm sorry. Corbin, Corbin won it last year. So Tony Goslin, uh, Max Scherzer, Aaron Nola, Otani, Bieber, Ivaldi. <sighs> Batting title, Bo Bichette in the AL, Manny Machado in the NL. Reliever of the year. We ain't sniffing none of that shit. Pasquantino run rookie. Hank Aaron award went to Trout. Who won rookie of the year in the uh, the Kerry Carpenter won it in the NL, not Corbin Carroll, which is eh, they were pretty goddamn close. He just got him a little bit, a little bit on 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 average. Ah man. 29 home runs to, to 87. What did Carroll do on, on the base pass? 11, 11 stolen bases to Carpenters, four. I would have went, honestly, I would have went Corbin Carroll on that, but. I guess that, that that 20 points in average sways them. Okay, okay, I get it. I don't like it, but I get it. Hank Aaron, again, Machado and Trout. And we're on the gold gloves. I guess two fucking dusty bucks. All right, that is season one of the books, y'all. Season one of the books, kind of shitty. Kind of shitty, not great, if I'm being honest. Who won? It looked like the Guardians won the, won the World Series. I don't want to hear that shit. That's a division rival. I'm not here for it. Hi there, everyone. <sighs> <clears throat> All right, let's roll right into season two. Season one was garbage. We didn't do very well at all. Let's let's see if season two ends up any better. Maybe the injury bug won't bite us so bad. I'll start break of season two. We are one game out of the AL Central lead. We are 52 and 44 at the moment. We're going to keep this train rolling, baby. So far, so good. On the eye bug, I don't want to say it because it's gonna jinx it, but we're we're doing. Just as I said, it, something popped up. It wasn't serious, but <laughs> it wasn't even anybody on, on the on the majors. It was some kid in, in the minors, but it popped up. 
I'm not gonna say it. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say that word. All right, we are running away with the division right now in September. We're at the first day of September. It's September called up. It stops him in. We are 80 and 55 right now. We have been lucky so far ish on on the, on that on that bug on that on that word that I'm not going to say. Ah, uh, Austin Riley has a broken hand and he's going to be out one to two fucking months. Ugh. Okay, god damn it. Just as I didn't want to say it, man. I uh, we're so thin at third. Who the fuck? Okay. Josh, it's you, buddy. It is you, my guy. Josh Young is going to step in. Fill in for, for a 91 overall. Oh, I don't even want to see it. Ugh. How was he playing this year, too? Oh, he was playing really well. 29 home runs, 75 RBIs, 270 average, 8 stolen bases, only 126 or 120 strikeouts. He was playing so well. Son of bitch. All right, Josh, you're you're a young kid, man. You're you're young, uh, a B potential kid. Time to step up, buddy. Time to step up. Yeah, baby. Okay, season two, we finished 95 and 67, won the division. Ah, uh, okay. Let's but let's let's before we get into the postseason, we're playing we're playing the Angels in the ALDS. That's straight off the top. Before we get into the postseason, let's see the player statistics for this year. Yeah. Let's go by, uh, let's see, let's, let's sort it by at bats. So Kirk got the most at bats of the season. He hit a stout 295, eight stolen bases, 21 home runs, 176 hits, 88 runs, 69 RBIs. He had an 843 OPS and he only struck out 117 times. Okay, I like it, I like it, I like it, my guy. Uh, Vinny Pasquantino had a 272 average, seven stolen bases. 85 RBIs, 33 home runs, 161 hits, 80 runs, OPS of 828, 120, 121 strikeouts. Let's go. Tim Anderson hit a 296 clip, 21 stolen bases, 72 RBIs, 14 home runs. Wish that was higher, but it is what it is. 161 hits, uh, 67 runs, OPS at 823, and he struck out 87 times. I like it, I like it, I like it. Nupar, Nupar had a lot of, I, I, I noticed when I was uh, in there, Nupar had a lot of hits. Nupar was hitting and, and uh, Marte was was riding the pine. Marte wasn't hitting for shit any goddamn way. Uh, Lars Nupar had a 273 average, 14 stolen bases, 84 RBIs, 26 home runs, 147 hits, 84 uh, runs scored, a OPS of 853, Ahmad Rosario, had a 249 average, 11 stolen bases, uh, 72 RBI, 16 home runs, 132 runs, 60, uh, 132 hits, 66 runs, OPS at 741. He only struck out 50, or he struck out 124 times. I'm sorry, I was looking at walks. And Nupar struck out 168. Ar Arias hit a 81 strikeout, six, 691 OPS. That's not great. Only had 255 average, seven stolen bases, 47 RBIs, nine home runs, 134 hits, 56 runs scored. They're disrespecting my guy Julio. You are screwing around with Julio San Diego Studios. I'm coming for y'all. This is horse shit. He hit a paltry 247 average, 18 stolen bases, 21 home runs, 75 RBIs, 124 124 hits, 74 runs scored. This man is a 96 overall. How? How could he have such pedestrian numbers? Wild. Wild. Okay. Uh, 774 OPS, 136 strikeouts. What's his fielding percentage? He must be like wild. 1,000. 1,000 fielding percentage. No errors committed. He's going to be gold glove center fielder. Probably how many put outs? 274. How many assists? 12. Yeah, yeah, he's probably winning gold glove in, in, in center field for the AL. Probably, probably, most likely. Um, like I said, Riley was hitting really good. Really, Riley was hitting really well before he went on the IL. He had 29 home runs. He already been over his numbers. Verdugo hit 289, uh, 14 home runs, 58 RBI, 6 stolen bases, 143 hits, 55 runs scored. 
and an OPS of 278. Marte again hit like dog water. He only hit 211. We're paying you what? Almost 20 million a year, my guy. And you're hitting 211. Kaka. Straight up poop. Okay, let's let's look at the pitching stats. Sort that by by uh innings pitched. My guy Corbin was 14 and 13. 51 ball 51 <laughs> 51 bases on balls. I wanted to call them walks and bases and balks, and they all got screwed together. 242 strikeouts, 2.95 ERA, 1.04 whip, and 24 quality starts. I like it. I like it. Let's keep it rolling. My guy Manoa had uh, 15 wins, 9 losses, 220 innings pitched, 66 walks, 203 strikeouts, 2.7 ERA, 1.08 whip, and 25 quality starts. George Kirby had a 13 and 11 record. 30 walks to 191 strikeouts, 2.8 ERA, 0.99 whip, 25 quality starts. Sandy, 13 and 6, with a 3.8 ERA, 178 strikeouts to 52 walks, 1.16 whip, and 20 quality, 20 quality starts. Sorry, geez, English is tough. 13 and 9 from my boy Jacob DeGrom. He had a 61 walk to 245 strikeout ratio, 4.24 ERA. That's not a little high. I don't like that. 1.25 whip again and 20 quality starts. I like it. I like it. I like it. Glass now was 11 and 9. He was, he was a long relief. 4.17 ERA. Uh, Christian Javier, again, he went to long relief. They swapped it on me. They put Kirby in. W was a 10 and 2 record with 104 strikeouts, 29 walks, 3.42 uh, ERA, and a 1.26 whip. Duran was killing it even better this year than last year. 45 win or 45 saves on Masari, excuse me, with a 1.35 ERA, 60 strikeouts to 13 walks. The saves and the strikeout. The saves in the ERA is what 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 I concerned about with my closer. That's 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 fire for me. We we dropped um oh. Ooh, we dropped two. We dropped uh blah, 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 blah. the guy. The fire. We dropped Chapman. We dropped the roll this Chapman and we picked up Lopez. Chapman shit absolutely shit the bed. Uh Lopez didn't do much better. But we paid him like a fraction of the price. We, we were paying, yeah, we paid him two million. We were we paid uh, Chapman like eight. It was wild. All right, so that way, that is where we finished the second season, statistically wise. Let's see if we can't. Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna. Okay, hold on. Let's let, let's wait. Hold on. Let's advance. We won. We won. Ha ha. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Oh no, we didn't. We are we are up two to one. Right, let's check out the awards real quick. Hold on before we before we finished. Duran won reliever of the year. Uh, Rosario won the Golden Glove. Tim Anderson won the Silver Slugger. Hold on. What? Corey Seager won the MVP for the league. Uh, Jake Cronenworth won it for the NL. Carlos Rodon won it for the AL for Cy Young, and the Grom came in third. Uh, Freddy Peralta won it for the NL. Tim Anderson won the Silver Slugger, the batting title. Alejandro Kirk came right behind him. Suzuki came in first in the NL. Duran won Reliever of the Year. Uh, Doval, Camilo Doval won it for the NL. Jeremy Pena won Rookie of the Year. And Blake Sobel won it for the NL. Hank Aaron Award went to Otani and Suzuki for the NL. Hold on, I, I'm curious as shit. Kurt came in third and Gold Glove for catchers. Ahmad Rosario won it for shortstop. Uh, Julio came in second. 
Julio came in second because he didn't have as many putouts as Luis Roberts. Same fielding percentage, same assists. He just lost out on putouts. Okay, he doesn't put out. What are you gonna do? <laughs> what are you gonna do? Ah, don't be joke. Don't don't at me, people. All right, let's see if we can't sim through that date. All right, we won the ALDS. We we overtook the Angels. We are playing between. We're still waiting to see if we're who we're gonna play between the Yankees and the Rays. Hopefully it's the Rays. I like the Rays more than I like the Yankees. Obviously. Hold on, wait, we won the AL, ALCS too? <laughs> We're taking on the Dodgers in the World Series, or Dodgers or Cubs, hold on now. Uh, we, beat the, we beat the Rays four to one. We beat the Angels three to one. We beat the Rays four to one. We are in the World Series, baby. We are gonna take on either the Dodgers or the Cubbies. Let's go. All right, we are taking on the Dodgers. Tigers, Dodgers, World Series. Let's freaking go, baby. All right, let's go. Let's go two games in, see where we stand, yeah? Ooh. Okay, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 baby. Austin Riley is back and he is healthy. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. We're okay. We're tied up. We're tied up one one with these uh, the, these West Coast bums over there in, in Los Angeles. But my guy Austin is is healthy. And can be added. Hold on now. Hold on now. Oh, I can't add him. Okay, during the MLB postseason, rosters can only be modified between series. The only exception is if a player is injured worse than day to day, then they may be replaced by a player of a similar position. Shit. Absolute horseshit. He's ready to play. He's ready. He's raring. He's in the postseason. Son of a bitch. We can only add him in between. All right, so let's sim through this day. We lost. We are down three to one. We, we won, we are tied two to two with the hated, I don't hate him that much. I actually don't don't mind the Dodgers too, too bad. All right, we are up three to two on the Dodgers. Let's go, let's see. We still can't add him, that son of a bitch and sucks. Ah, oh no, no, we lost. Okay, it's three, three. We are tied three, three. This next game is for all the marbles. I'm, I'm gonna sim it and close my eyes. Yeah, baby! <laughs> yes, sir! Yeah! The Tigers have won the fucking World Series. Words that have not been uttered since the year I was fucking born. 1984 was the last time those words have been uttered out of somebody's mouth that the Tigers have won the World Series. You see the goddamn shirt? Fucking tigers, you see the fucking tattoo. Let's go. Let's go. Alright, now I wanna see. Now I wanna see World Series. I wanna see the uh the statistics for the for the World Series. I don't know. I don't know if I will be able to or not. Let's see. Let's see. Julio World Series MVP. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Playoff MVP, Julio. Let's go. World Series MVP. He had 333, three home runs, nine RBIs. Let's go. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. I set out with a goal to see if my fantasy baseball team could win a World Series. It took us two seasons, but gosh damn it, we got there, baby. They can, they did, they will. Let's go. No, 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 no. I, I just need to say and preface that this is a simulation and I need them to do it in real life. I need, I need to win my goddamn fantasy league, people. This was fun. This was awesome. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. Send me down a comment. Let me know what you think of the fantasy team. Let me know what you think of the simulation. Let me know if you think it's realistic, if you think it's a decent team, if it's a horrible team, if you love the team, if you love the pitching staff, whatever, whatever, whatever. Let me know. Love y'all. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. Let's go Tigers. See you next episode. Bye.